Sendo uma bolsinha de novo. Esse Ed. an acorn every once in a while. <laughs> hey, you want company, boys? Sure, because I want to be pissing needles tomorrow. <laughs> Piss is down. <gasps> go away. Just go away. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry, but I... Well... Well, you're sorry. Yeah, I heard you. But, I mean... I... Well, I, 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 this country is man unleashed. That's the thing, and it ain't my fault any more than it's anyone else. Man unleashed? Then unleash goodness, not just hell's feeble brothers, sir. But how? I mean, all I know how to do is fight, I guess. I was set free to fight. Where's your son, Mrs. Down? Where you think? Down the mine. Until he gets sick. Which won't be long, given how hard they work him. See, Foreman don't like him, so he gets the worst of it. Maybe I could go with... Maybe you could just leave us all alone. Maybe. Maybe you could just go fight some other battle. Oh, your mom's a horn, that's a goddamn. Why don't you shut up? Oh, hey, all right. Oh. <laughs> Who's this, your daddy? My daddy died. And this man, he killed him. What are you doing here? 
Leave the boy alone. Why'd you kill his daddy? You after his mama? <laughs> Stop bullying the boy. Get out of my business, mister. Leave the boy alone. Or what? Or I'll kill you too. You couldn't kill no one. Look at you, all ragged and sick and weak. Clear off, you goddamn hermit. Clear off! You and the horse son here. Let the boy go. Let him go! Come on, me. Shame on you. He's just a goddamn boy! Let's get you out of here. They're gonna kill me. Now I got no job, and they're gonna kill me. I've got some money. You and your mama can go someplace nice. Well, why are you doing this? I don't know. Listen, take this, all of it. Try and talk to your mama, and get out of here. Now run. I'll try. Good boy. I don't want to see you here again. All right, there. You got any business at the mine? I'm taking a map. What's the matter? I'm taking the mission, man. Vai estar muito longe das outras paradas. I'm looking for an Arthur Londonderry. I was told he works here. Londonderry? Oh, you want to speak to the foreman? He's down in the pit. You know, hiding your face makes people nervous. Arthur London there. She here? I'm sorry, feller, but you're too late. Arthur's dead. <laughs> the man's dead? What's wrong with you? Oh, boy. You can't exactly beat it out of him now, can you? You might get something off his widow just across from Butcher's Creek, but I'd hurry. You ain't gonna be the only one a knocking. <laughs> you ought to be ashamed of yourself. Hey, I ain't the godforsaken moneylender. Nuss. <laughs> Fora desse mapa vermelho, mano.
What are you doing? time to think in that jail and feel like I just don't know Dutch no more. You ain't the only one. And this plan to get us out, it just feels, I don't know. Like he's stringing us along, I know. Killing in cold blood, revenge, we all do bad things, but he seems to enjoy it now. It's like he just wants to create more enemies, more chaos. Yeah, I know. I mean... <laughs> I love Dutch. He saved me a long time ago. I feel like in San Denis, when I got arrested, maybe he could have done something. I feel like you should take your woman and child and get lost. Do you? You can... Uh, you could give something to Jack. It's that or... Well, I don't see no way out of this. Well, what about loyalty? Be loyal to what matters. What are you gonna do? <laughs> I'll be okay, but do it for me. It would make me feel good, if that makes any sense. A little, but... Listen to me. When the time comes, you gotta run and don't look back. This is over. And now? Now we gotta help Dutch give the army one final tweak on his nose. <laughs> yeah, come on. Help me with the rest of this. Well, it looks like we finally found our calling in life. Let's ride this thing out onto the bridge. There's a spot about a third of the way across where we can get down underneath to plant the charges. I've already set up the detonator. Sure. Let's get this over with. You hear about Dutch and Cornwall? Yeah. This is what I'm talking about. More enemies? More chaos? I mean, 
We're about to blow up a bridge, for Christ's sake. from the box. The bridge is wired to the detonator. We need to attach each of those bundles to the fuses. There's one on each of the main support beams. Okay. I sure hope this is enough to blow it. These are mining charges. They ain't easy to come by. If they don't do the job, nothing will. Ain't how I want to die. Come on. Let's go blow this thing up. Um, I think the line held. 
You want the honors? Sure. I guess old Dutch got all the smoke he wants. Let's hope so. <laughs> you really think that that'll draw attention away from us? I guess we'll see. Tell the truth, I ain't even sure I fully understand Dutch's plan with all this. Like I said, John, when the time comes, you go. What about loyalty to, to everything? You've been loyal. I've been loyal. Look what that cost. You know, all that ever mattered to me was loyalty. It was all I knew. It was all I ever believed in. Well, not anymore, John. Soon, you gotta go. Go. But don't look back. I'll think about it. I've done a lot of thinking. Look at us. Out here risking our necks and for what exactly? For an idea that don't work no more. How you mean? You know just what I mean. You got a family. You need cash. You need to start building a life for yourself. Me? I need a vacation. And Dutch has all the money for safekeeping. You know something? Abigail thinks she might know where some of that money is. Well, you tell her she better make sure. And then come talk to me. And we'll find out just who and what we should be loyal to. I don't know, Arthur. Nor do I. But I'm seeing things a lot more clearly now. I wish <sighs> things were different. But it weren't us who changed. Yeah! <coughs> 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 <coughs>
Hello. Here I am, as promised. Captain Monroe? Of course. Chief's going out trying to find medications. It's quite a business. Yes. I thought we were through with all of this. Well, we are, mostly. Colonel Favors seems to think the natives have broken some promise they never made, and apparently he's punishing them by withholding vaccines sent down by the federal government. Really? I was supposed to oversee the administration of vaccines. Now I hear the wagon's been diverted. Why would he do such a thing? Uh, to be honest, I truly don't know. They say he didn't have a very good war, so maybe he's trying to start another one. Is that what you think? I'm trying to find out. He knows I'm trying to find out. He'd love to provoke me almost as much as he'd love to provoke these poor bastards. Meaning? Meaning that despite the fact that I think he's a horse's ass, he knows I think that. So we're just stuck here trying to make the best of things. This is the best of things. Children dying of diseases. No. This is awful. Where is this wagon? Where can we find it? I can show you. It's supposed to be heading to a pediatric coming up through Valentine, but it's been diverted south instead. Come on, Captain Monroe. M Mr. Morgan, we must act with due caution. Oh, we shall. We surely shall. Now come. Okay. I think I know a spot where we should be able to intercept it. Lead the way, Captain. <laughs> So, this Colonel Favors, he knows you're up here helping these people? Yes, and no. He knows I'm here to... Careful! He knows I'm here to produce a report on the situation. I was sent down from the north after all the news of unrest in the region. But I think my presence might be making things worse. What do you mean? I worry he's taking some of these actions more to protect himself now. He can incite more retaliation, maybe he can prove a stronger defense. Well, like destroying that shrine. Yes, and taking their horses. I mean, I don't know if he personally sanctioned any of this or not. This is the other problem. There's a culture now in his regiment. The rot has traveled down the trunk. Okay. Well, just show me where to find this wagon and I'll get the medicine for you. You don't need to be involved. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. But I must ask you, please be discreet. We really cannot afford more conflict. I'm still hoping a meeting can be arranged between Rain's Falls and Colonel Favors. I understand. So I should drop the wagon back at the reservation? Oh, no. No, no, no. You only need to commandeer the vaccine. Stealing those and an army wagon will only make matters much worse. Okay. You know, Favors has many flaws, but I don't believe he's callous. More an insecure man at the end of his career trying to cling on to something that's already gone. He fought for the Union in the war, and his record was considered far from illustrious. A failed man is often the most dangerous. All right, this is the spot I was thinking of. Let's cut up this way. Sure. There's a nice vantage point up at the top here. Okay, let's dismount here. Best leave the horses back a bit. We'll have a good view over the road from this ledge. Now the wagon should come along this way. Okay. You're a good man, Mr. Morgan, but I fear this task to be a fool's errand. Well, firstly, I'm a long way from a good man. Secondly, Fool's errands are my favorite kind of work. Fair enough. In that case, I can see we shall be great friends. <laughs> May I ask you a question? Of course. Why don't you just tell all the folk up in Washington what kind of an idiot Colonel Favors is and save us all a lot of bother? <laughs> uh, unfortunately, the government doesn't work quite like that. If you say so. There. I think that's the wagon. All right. Get yourself out of here. Just remember to keep it clean, understand me? Don't worry, I'm as clean as they come. All I do is clean. 
Well, good luck. I'll meet you back at the reservation. Try not to get yourself killed, Mr. Morgan. No, no, I, I can't promise.
Captain Monroe? I got the medicine. Oh, wonderful. That's great news, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, no, don't worry. It, uh, it didn't go too bad. Oh, I'll have to take your word for that. We could both swing for this. <coughs> yeah, well, I think I'm a little past caring about hanging, Monroe. Maybe. I just hope Colonel Favors thinks he was robbed by bandits and not... Oh, no, I'm still a bandit. There ain't no doubt about that. Of course. Well, I better get to work. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Bandit or not, this was a good thing. Maybe it'll get us both killed, but it had to be done. I hope so. <laughs> 